This is a short video on antiemetics and prokinetics, or essentially medicines that increase the motility of the GI tract. Now, before we start talking about all the drugs listed here, let's uh, talk about the neurons that innervate the smooth muscle. So you have a neutral neuron that releases acetylcholine that acts on the smooth muscle and causes smooth muscle contraction. That's going to be our simulation for movement in the GI tract. Those two red neurons, one is dopamine triggered, the other one is serotonin triggered, the 5-HT3 receptor neuron, are inhibiting that acetylcholine neuron. So those are going to inhibit the smooth muscle contractions that lead to gastric motility. And then there's that green neuron on top that is going to promote that neuron. And that green one on top is also triggered by serotonin. This is the 5-HT4 receptor. And this is going to promote smooth muscle contractions and promote GI motility. So we're going to see how these drugs, these antiemetics and prokinetics, kind of interact with these three neurons and how they also interact with some other mechanisms that activate smooth muscle and cause increased GI motility. So the drugs that we're going to be talking about are shown in blue. Let's start with these three. Metoclopramide. This one has a dual effect. It activates the 5-HT4 neuron and it deactivates the dopamine neuron. So it promotes gastric motility through those two mechanisms. Those two mechanisms are also evident in two other drugs, cisapride and domperidone. Cisapride also activates that serotonin neuron on the top. Domperidone deactivates that dopamine neuron on the, on the right. And metoclopramide has a combined effect of both of those drugs. Next, there are the phenothiazines. These have side effects like sedation and drowsiness. These, similar to domperidone, deactivate that dopamine receptor. So they're, it's kind of like a double negative. It's deactivating the inhibitory neuron, which promotes gastric motility. Next, there's a 5-HT3R antagonist, which does just as the name implies. It inhibits the 5-HT3 neuron that is inhibiting that acetylcholine neuron in the middle. So it's again like a double negative. It's inhibiting the inhibitor and thus promoting gastric motility that way. One example of this drug is Zofran, which is an antiemetic that's, that's frequently used. That's the brand name Zofran. And these are advantages because they have few side effects. Next is Bethanicol, which directly stimulates the smooth muscle. Dronabinol, which is a derivative of marijuana, it's delta-9 THC. This one also stimulates through muscle, although the mechanism of action for this one is unknown. This is dronabinol. And there are also macrolids. Macrolids are antibiotics, but they do have some, uh, some mechanism of increasing gastric motility. Erythromycin is an example of a macrolid. Uh, one disadvantage to using these is that they do exhibit taxophylaxis, which means that they decrease in effectiveness uh, as you use them. It's kind of like diminishing returns, but for a drug, they work less the more you use them. And side effect for these are diarrhea, uh, which is kind of a common side effect to many of these, but especially macrolids. And these act by increasing the effect of motilin, which is a GI hormone that promotes gastric motility. This has been a short presentation on antiemetics and prokinetics. I hope it was helpful.